The MiG-31 was the Soviet Union's go-to long-range interceptor aircraft. It was designed to take out cruise missiles mid-flight and was nicknamed the Super Fox Bat, or in NATO reporting, the Foxhound. The MiG-31 was far deadlier than its predecessor with unmatched advanced radar and weapons systems, enabling it to attack several targets at once. The interceptor also has a thrilling history with its clandestine development leaked to NATO in a bizarre plot twist that inspired a novel and a movie. Join us as we explore the wild history and insane specs behind the MiG-31. Mikoyan 25 on a silver platter The MiG-31 was developed by the Russian aircraft corporation Mikoyan, better known by its design office prefix MiG. The maker still holds the record for producing the most jet fighters of a single model. The record is held by a MiG-31 predecessor, the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-15. More than 18,000 units of the MiG-15 were produced in total between 1974 and the mid-1950s. This model played a crucial role in the Korean War thanks to its swept-wing design, which allowed it to create regions of subsonic and supersonic speed around its body, a feature called transonic speed. Mikoyan was absorbed into a single company along with five other aeronautical facilities including Russia's historic aerospace and defence company Tupolev in 2006. The merger came from a decree by Russian President Vladimir Putin to create a single aerospace defence manufacturer under the banner of the United Aircraft Corporation. Roughly 10 years after the MiG-15 debut, Mikoyan developed the MiG-25, which was a stark contrast to the MiG-15, and this new plane became the foundation for the MiG-31. Dubbed Foxbat, the MiG-25 quickly became notorious on the world stage. The US noted the plane's large wings for better manoeuvrability than previous generations. The looming threat of the MiG-25 prompted the Americans to work even harder on their next military jet the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle. However, some of these fears were dispelled when NATO forces were gifted a working MiG-25 on September 6, 1976. The aircraft came from a Soviet Air Defense Force pilot, Lieutenant Viktor Belenko, who defected to Japan. The USSR didn't respond with increased aggression, as Russia's top brass were optimistic about future diplomatic meetings with Japan's generals and didn't want to jeopardize them. Once in Japan, the MiG-25 was disassembled and Belenko was granted political asylum and citizenship in the United States, where he became a military consultant and entrepreneur. Afterward, the plane was shipped back to the Soviet Union in parts, but the personnel on the receiving end claimed that some parts were mysteriously missing. The examination of the MiG-25 showed that the jet had numerous flaws and was not as capable as NATO had feared. Although the MiG-25 had a theoretical speed limit of over Mach 3.2, its twin Tumansky R-15 B-300 turbojet engines would overheat at speeds above Mach 2.83. The Foxbat could climb quickly and reach high altitudes, but it was actually less manoeuvrable at interception speeds, and it also had the drawback of being difficult to fly at lower altitudes. The Americans felt confident in their F-15 Eagle, even though it had a slower top speed, and their confidence paid off. With its emphasis on maneuverability, the F-15 became one of the most successful fighter jets in history, with over 100 aerial victories and zero losses. But while the fears of the MiG-25 were squashed, Belenko warned NATO of the next generation of the Mykoyan jets, the MiG-31. Designing the Foxhound When production of the MiG-31 began in 1979, the Soviets listed four mission objectives for the new interceptor. Firstly, the plane needed to have a long flight time to escort strategic bombers. They needed to defend airspace in areas not covered by ground-based air defence systems, and they also needed to shore up the MiG-25's weakness in lower altitudes with improved cruise missile detection. And lastly, the planes needed to reduce the time they took to intercept missiles and enemy aircraft. These outlines resulted in the MiG-31 measuring 74 feet and 3 inches long with a max takeoff weight of 101,854 pounds. 
It had a service ceiling of 82,000 feet and a rate of climb at 56,700 feet per minute. Like the MiG-25, the MiG-31 has twin engines with its characteristic side-mounted air intake ramps. Also like its predecessor, the MiG-31 uses twin vertical tail fins and shoulder-mounted wings, but they were strengthened so the new MiG could fly supersonic at altitudes as low as 4,900 feet. This design improves its thrust-to-weight ratio, but it retains some of its challenges with rapid turns and close combat. The Foxhound also got an engine overhaul with its new Solo VF D30 F6 two-shaft low-bypass turbofan engines, which were updates to one of the most important engines created by the Soviet Union. The D30 series uses a two-stage compression spool with a four-stage turbine and cooled turbine blades. The F6 was a redesign of the original D30 and improved its thrust capabilities to 20,900 pounds of force or over 34,200 pounds of force using its afterburners. A single D30 F6 could propel an aircraft to speeds of over 1,900 miles per hour. Highly advanced electronics and avionics. Huge improvements over previous generations were made to the plane's electronics. The MiG-31 became one of the first fighters to use a phased array radar system, which uses several antennas to transmit radio frequencies. All of the antennas are combined in phase to increase its power and range, while also reducing interference. The MiG-31 was the only fighter to use this technology until the year 2000 when the Japan Air Self-Defense Force introduced the Mitsubishi F-2 multi-role fighter. Along with its phased array radar, the MiG-31 also came equipped with the Zalson S-800 PSAR or Passive Electronically Scanned Array Radar. The MiG-31 also came with an IRST or Infrared Search and Track system located under the nose in a retractable mount. These devices use passive thermographic cameras to absorb radiation without emitting any of their own to reduce detection. Using this new suite of electronics, the MiG-31 could track 10 targets simultaneously. The MiG-31 was also equipped with an APD-518 data link system which connected a squad of four MiG-31s via automatic radar data transmission. This technology dramatically improved the coverage area for a team of four planes as the pilots could reduce crosstalk and receive information in real time. The data link system could also connect the MiG-31 to older planes such as the MiG-25 to guide planes to targets even if they didn't have the latest sensors. Introducing this system improved the overall capabilities of Russian Air Forces by leaps and bounds. The MiG-31 cockpit also had a lot more packed under the canopy than the MiG-25. Engineers added a second rear seat for a weapons systems operator, or WSO, who would control the radar and weapons system. The controls are mirrored for both seats, though the front seat was used exclusively for manoeuvring the fighter as the rear seat only had two small portholes on the side, instead of a front canopy. Adding a weapon system operator improved the combat effectiveness of the plane by reducing the pilot's workload. Both cockpits were equipped with zero altitude and zero airspeed or zero zero ejection seats designed to bring the pilots to a safe altitude before deploying their parachutes. Devastating Weapon Systems The MiG-31 Foxhound carried a single GSH-6 23mm cannon with 260 rounds and it could carry missiles attached to its fuselage or on underwing pylons that could be swapped for removable fuel tanks. As of 2013, the MiG-31 was one of only two planes in the world capable of independently launching long-range air-to-air missiles even 20 years after it was first unveiled. The only other aircraft with that capability at the time was the F-14. One of the primary missiles carried by the MiG-31 was the Vimpel R-33. These missiles use semi-active radar homing and inertial navigation to track targets. The R-33s travel at Mach 4.5 and are still in use by Russia to this day. 
In place of the four R-33 missiles, the MiG-31 could be fitted with a single KH-47 M2 Kinzhal nuclear-capable hypersonic air-to-surface missile. Dubbed Killjoy, this missile supposedly has a range of 1,200 miles. It can reach insane speeds of Mach 12, and the Killjoy has the ability to perform evasive maneuvers at any stage of its flight path. The Foxhound's advanced electronic systems also doubled as offensive technology, and the Zalson phased array radar wasn't just for defence. This unit could control multiple missiles, allowing a single MiG-31 to attack four targets simultaneously. Updating the Beast There were many variations of the MiG-31, but the most important version is the total overhaul given to the MiG-31BM, which featured new LCD multifunction displays, a better central computer system with new data links to automatically receive and send information from its sensors to command stations, and a new multi-mode radar. This version also revamped the MiG-31's weapons system, allowing it to carry KH-31 anti-radiation missiles or ARMs, the Vimpel NPO R-77 missile which can attack targets outside of visual range, and air-to-ground missiles or AGMs. This update also added a new HOT AS or hands-on throttle and stick control system to give pilots better control over their craft. In 2010, a project began to update all remaining MiG-31s to the BM standard, while the successor to the Foxhound, the Mikoyan PAC-DP, otherwise known as the MiG-41 or Project IZD-41, is expected to be introduced in late 2028. The MiG-31 Legacy Over the years, four major accidents have marred the history of the MiG-31. The first was in 1984 during a test flight which killed Mikoyan's chief test pilot Alessandra Fetotov and his navigator V.S. Zaitsev. Another crash occurred in 2017 when a MiG-31 was hit by friendly fire during a training mission. Unlike the first accident, both crew members survived. Another crash occurred in 2020, and the latest was in April 2022. Strangely, each of the MiG-31 accidents happened in April. While supernatural speculation about the Foxhound accidents never really took off, the MiG-31 wasn't free of panic and superstition. Back in the day, the whole legend of the MiG-25 was still fresh in the hearts and minds of NATO, and when Belenko blew the lid off the new MiG-31, people were even more inspired and fearful. Author David Craig Thomas capitalised on the hype around the MiG-31 with his techno-thriller novel Firefox. Released in 1977, the book is about a fictional joint plot concocted by the CIA and MI6 to steal a MiG-31. Five years later, the book was made into a film directed by Clint Eastwood. And that's a wrap for the compelling story of the MiG-31. The Foxhound is an important plane in the history of aviation with its unprecedented phased array radar system and its highly advanced weaponry deployment, as well as its unexpected reveal thanks to a pilot defecting to Japan, adding to the intrigue. What was your favourite fact about the MiG-31 and what plane would you like to see next? Let us know in the comments section below and while you're there, hit that like and subscribe button to help out the channel. We'll see you next time.